Hello everybody, this is the Adobe Photoshop CS5 animation instructions. So the first thing you want to do is go to the public domain images site. And the reason why we're going to pick public domain uh, images is uh, you don't want to be sued. So it's the best place to grab some images that are free. I mean, you don't have to pay for them. Cool, huh? Okay, so I already brought this site up and here it is public domain pictures .net. so I am gonna grab a couple of pictures for our background and our foreground our foreground is going to be the star of your animation alright so I'm going to pick la 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 a rustic bridge nice huh so I like this image so the next thing I'm going to do is grab this image click down on your on your mouse pad and you're gonna drag this image right onto your desktop and boom there it is popped up right there so there's your image this is going to be a background I suggest you put this in a folder for now I'm going to put it in Mary Allen's folder so I could find it again alright so let's pick another image I'm going to find a star of my animation let's see what looks fun uh, let's go with the bear the bear looks pretty good. Ah, but new, but more come up. But aha, a dollar fifty for these images. Well, I'd rather pay nothing, so I'm going to grab this image. Now I'm done with that. Not only do I have my for my background, but I have my star. There he is! Yay! He's a star of my animation series. Well, my animation beginning series, anyway. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop. So you click on your Photoshop, and I am going to go to File, N Open, not New, Open. All right, so I am going to find my images. Where are they? Remember, we saved them in an, a folder that's not even here. Great. Let's keep on looking for the folder. Let's hit desk Desktop. The desktop will take us right to the folder that we need to get. Let's look for Mary Allen's folder. Mary Allen. Oh, Mary. here she is. Let's grab our images. Let's click on the arrow again. And this is 11.32 a.m. So I'm guessing that's one of my images. Yay. So that one is my background. So I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to go back to File, Open again and I'm still there and I'm looking for my other image which isn't in here which is a total drag because it should be in here so maybe we'll change this to all documents there it is it's still not here cancel I am gonna pause you for a second because I'm gonna find my image you had to be a big shot Okay, we are rocking now. So, now I'm going to bring in my star of my uh, animation series, or my animation project, that is. I'm going to click on open. And there it is, bear. But they spelled it beer. That's okay. Um, click on open. There he is. Man, he looks like a star, huh? All right, so now we have both images. We have our background. And we have our hero, our foreground. So there's the two images. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to actually make my project. So I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to click on New. Aha, here it is. I am going to hit the Preset button and preset that to Film and Video. All right. I'm going to title my project right here. Title it the bear in the air just because I like how it um, rhymes so pick any kind of title that you want easily use your name that's a good thing alright I'm gonna also change the background contents to transparent because uh, if you want to add other images it's kinda nice to have it transparent in the background so it doesn't mess up your original design alright so here we are 
it changed the preset to custom, but that's cool. The width is 72, and the height is set at 480. Resolution is okay. So we're all good. So I'm going to click OK. It comes up with this. That's cool. Just click OK. All right, here's our, um, our project, the bear in the air. Here's our hero. And here's our background. OK. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy my background into my project.